guys, so if you guys know this or not, but I am a huge Maze Runner fan. I am obsessed with the book, with the first movie, with the second book, third, I... Mm, I always say do not compare a movie to a book, and I will try my best not to do that in this video, but uh, I apologize if I can't help it, and I, and I actually do compare the movie to the book because it's... I... Uh, mm, Basically, The Scorched Trials is a continuation of The Maze Runner. If you have not seen the first movie, you will be completely lost in the second movie. For the most part, if you have not read the books, you are already lost as is. So, yeah. Alright, going into this movie, I was so pumped. This is one of my most anticipated movies of the year, and I was so excited for this film. Now, from a film's point of view, as a movie in itself, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, they explained a little bit of what happened in the first movie, so at least you're not completely and totally lost. They did a great job in explaining more about what is going on in the world. Because in the end of the first movie, they kind of explained a little bit as to what is going on on the outside world, but here you actually see it. So they did a really great job in portraying that and easing, you know, the audience's confusion as to what, why these kids went through what they went through in the first movie. This movie looks more like a zombie apocalypse than a Scorch trial, per se. Like, it doesn't look like a test. It just looks like um, they're uh, surviving. All right, as far as the acting goes, Dylan O'Brien, once again, he takes the lead in this movie. He is great. Kaya, we really do not like your character in the end of this movie. Brenda, she was so bad A. I loved her character. Newt, you, you guys may or may not know this, but Newt is my favorite in the books, in the movie. He has my heart. I love Newt. Newt is my bae. Mino and Fry Pan. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really sad that now it's down to like three gladers. I mean, in the first movie, it was like 50 or something, and now there's only like four left or two. It's just, oh gosh, it's sad. There was a lot of zombies. The zombies were freaky as scary as heck. They were scary. I will admit that they scared the living daylights out of me. They did. Now, another thing, I wanted to see more of, you know, the other two girls from Eris's um, maze as well. Also, I love Eris. He's adorable. Oh my goodness. Just, uh, just I just want him to be protected at all times. He's just so cute. I just hit my camera. I'm sorry. So basically, in the book, they are. This is a scorched trial, meaning they know as they're going through the scorch, it's a trial. It's not like they just escaped and they're surviving. No, they actually have a mission and a goal, and they have to achieve it and stuff. Because this is, in a way, the maze part two. But in the movie, it just looked like they just escaped and they're trying to fight for their lives. Maybe this might correspond with the third movie. I I don't know. I was really hoping to see the opening scene as the scene that they had in the book because it was so freaky how the rooms changed and you know how they saw the cranks for the first time and and how each of them had how each of their names had a meaning and their number and stuff and we didn't get to see that in this movie. Some of the scenes I was like whoa that is exactly how I pictured it in the book that is so cool but it wasn't the whole entire movie it was only like certain scenes. Again this is a Hollywood we don't it's very hard to write a script it's very hard to compose a whole entire book in just a matter of like a hundred pages or less and you know what I think they did great as the adaptation goes they kept the characters true to themselves they've you know kept the story of like the whole survival and trying to figure out what's going on type of thing alive so in a way I think this movie was pretty good as it was I just have to make sure in my head to separate the book from the movie because you cannot compare a book to a movie or a movie to a book um Mm, I have a really bad habit of doing that, but I promise I will get better at that. Alright guys, so if you are new to my channel, if you just so happen to stumble upon this video, make sure to subscribe for weekly videos because I do post weekly videos. And also follow me on all my social media links. I will link them on the damn bar below. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.